Now, these numbers are stark in cases and hospitalizations, and we're beginning to see the toll in lives. And while it is bad in the big counties, it's not isolated to them. The vast majority of Utahns live in these counties. 15 counties had their worst week. Two more had their second worst. The blue columns here show the average cases per day in the state. Multiply the height of the summer scare by three. In July, we topped out just under 670 cases a day. Now we're pushing 2,000. And that orange line shows the daily average of deaths to COVID, six a day on election day. Fewer now, but that line will rise. Deaths lag behind cases. Most Utahns live in six big counties, and this chart shows clearly that numbers in Salt Lake, Davis, Weber, and Washington counties have never been higher. Utah and Cache counties are approaching peaks they experienced earlier. That Salt Lake number looks huge, but this chart puts it into perspective. Judged by their population, the case rates cluster between 270 and 430 new cases in one week for every 100,000 people. Put it differently, if you saw 250 people through the course of your week, it's likely at least one of them was infected just this week. Seven of these mid-sized counties fall in that same range, with Carbon County outpacing even Salt Lake for their seven-day case rate. And if you are looking sharply, you may have noticed that Salt Lake passed Utah County for the first time in a couple of months in terms of the case rate, that weekly case rate, now the hot spot over and above Utah County, which is still a hot spot. Well, I've put weekly numbers for Utah's smaller counties that did have cases this week into our web story. Not including them with those statistics, they're too small. Comparing them on that same statistical basis wouldn't be fair. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.